Hi, my name is Ebony. I'm, I'm a Year 4 student at Edney Primary. Hi, I'm Xavier and I'm a Year 6 student from Harwickham Primary. I'm Scarlett and I'm a Year 4 student at Edney Primary School. My name's Kira, I'm a Year 6 student at Matthew Gibney. Hi, my name is Grace. I'm a Year 4 student at Edney Primary School. Hello, my name is Tia and I'm a Year 4 student at Edney Primary School. Hi, my name's Ethan Thomas. I'm a Year 6 student from Harwickham Primary School. Hi, my name's Isabella and I'm a Year 4 student at Edney Primary. We have been here since four years. Uh, I'm Sonia. She's my daughter, Amoha. She's going to be two soon. Mother had been walking a baby or toddler down um, Wickham Road and the favourite cuddly had fallen from the pram. Now another mother had walked past, seen it, understood the significance of it, picked it up and posted on our Facebook page, only in I Wickham, someone's lost this. Private PM me and I'll have it back to you in half an hour. That to me is community, that's understanding, that's caring. So I love High Wycombe. I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. The sense of belonging, the sense of genuineness, yeah, it's a great place to live. What brought me to High Wycombe was we were looking for a place that still felt like country. And we found one on Newburn Road, a little country house on Newburn Road. And a month later, we brought a newborn baby into that and we called her Rachel. I run mum's groups every week and I said to them, oh girls, you've got to stay connected after you've been meeting with me for four, five, six weeks, meet together. Yes, well, they've adopted Teapot Lane. And so many people that come here, we have people that will come three or four times a week. This is their place. And we, we really want them to feel like that. We really want them to feel that this belongs to the community. I've been in High Wycombe seven years, but I've been around High Wycombe for probably about, in an, living in and out of High Wycombe for probably about over 25 years. I think that it's probably totally underrated as a suburb to live in. There's real stability here. There's people, you know, we know people that have lived for over 50 years and they've still got all those old values and stuff. So High Wycombe's a really good place to live. I'm Phyllis, and I've lived in High Wycombe for, I think, about 38 years. Quite a long time. And when I moved in here, it, um, you could hear cows mooing in the paddocks and there was bush all around. It um, has a country feel to it. Oh, High Wycombe's my home, and I'm so glad that we have the cafe here. I like living in High Wycombe because of the big bush that my dog and I like to walk through. Oh, there's so much variety. There's shopping centres, sports grounds, skate parks, bushland, lots of trees. I like about living in High Wycombe that a lot of my friends live here and there's a lot of after school activities to do, like roller skating, cooking club, cheerleading and dance down at the rec centre. So my name is Hila Berman and I'm working uh, nearly two years now in High Wycombe. I like the fact that I can see children in the street playing, um, families talking to each other, many friendship um, has started here at the centre and I, I like to see those things. Um, my name's Sinead, I'm 15 years old and I've lived in High Wycombe my whole life. The people are in this area are very friendly, um, you kind of know each other from either if you go to Edney or High Wycombe, so it's very welcoming. Uh, my name's Joshua Jones, I'm 15 and I've lived in High Wycombe for nearly two years now. I moved to High Wycombe because it was closer to the school I go to now, which is Darling Range, to do the athletics program here. It's to take my sport seriously. Uh, overall, I like it there because it's calm and not as loud as where I used to live. 
Oh, yeah, my name's Floyd Sullivan, I'm the president of the High Wycombe Junior Football Club. Today's a day that we honour our life members and our sponsors and, and, um, and our club patrons. So it's a very important acknowledgement about our history, the setting up of our culture and our club. So we've been around for 46 years. Um, we started off at Motorvale, now we're the High Wycombe Junior Football Club. And we're a big part of the community. We've got over 400 kids. It's about kids having camaraderie, getting to know each other in a community spirit. So that's what we're on about. My name is Dylan O'Connor. I've lived in High Wycombe for 41 years. Yeah, I spent my whole childhood on my bikes, um, catching up with mates after school, cruising the streets. Raising a family in High Wycombe um, has been fantastic because you know, it just feels right raising a family where, where I grew up as, as, as a child. So. Highwickham is a great place to live because we have a connected community and uh, people get along. We've got a lot of things going on, uh, a lot of things to do for, for young kids. You know, the skate park, the footy club, the cricket club. It's just um, a really good vibe about living in Highwickham. My parents first uh, moved into Highwickham in 1968 and I was two years old at the time. Just across the road from where I live, there were great open paddocks uh, and a bit of bushland and that and uh, you know, I went around the corner to the uh, pond where the shopping centre is now and I used to go tadpoling in that. I love High Wycombe, I've got a really sort of you know, soft spot in my heart for it, you know, I suppose that comes with having grown up here. I like about living in High Wycombe about the public library because you can borrow about 10 books at a time and sign up for free. I like living in High Wycombe because there's lots of friendly people and friendly service at the shops and there's nice of, a lot of like nice parks and trees and dogs. My favourite thing about living in High Wycombe is how peaceful it is and how, how little sound we get from the roads. And uh, I've lived, uh, lived up here on, well how long Ian we lived here, 60 years and my, well I'm 57, 57 years, years. 57 years. coming up. Mm, mm. Yeah, the family, we've been involved with a lot of the sporting activity in here. I mean, my father was president of the Highwick and Football Club and the Cricket Club. Since we've been here, there's been more shops come uh, up I live on Newburn Road. Quite a good street to live in, not far away from everything, you know. See, I like the area because it was a cross between being country and city. It was that one of that was right on the edge. That's what Calamunda's always been not about. Not far really. away from the city yeah. either. I've had some very happy days. We have my husband and I both have here at High Wycombe. My parents moved out there in 1936. I lived in Newburn Road when it was just all bush. We saw High Wycombe happen when they cleared and put houses in. And we actually got a decent road. We actually got electricity. We didn't get have electricity till I was 20. I just loved the outdoors and the the bush. I used to walk through to school or ride the bike through. So to me, I owned it all. He didn't really know, but I was just like, oh yeah, let's just go to High Wycombe. It's the best skate park I've ever been to. And it has dirt jumps for the dirt scooter. And he just got a new scooter, so we came here. Um, my name's Corey, I'm 17. I've lived in High Wycombe around about a year now. It's got a good environment, there's good people here. It's convenient to like the city, it's not too far. Yeah, it's just good. It's in between the city and it's in between the country. It's like a nice little good yeah. suburb town. My name is Jed Brummel. I'm 11 years old and I've been, lived in High Wycombe for one year now. You have like shops down there and like houses down there and like you live down there and you just come to the skate park with your friends. We come down to High Wycombe and we interact with the participants down here for skating, scooting and BMXing uh, and help coach them with skill development and engage with them and do a bit of youth work and understand how they are, who they are. Um, but everyone that's generally here are all, you know, kind of really good kids, really good people um, that always seem to be just wanting to be active and be here to either skate, scoot or BMX. Uh, my name's Adrian Jennings, uh, we've lived in High Wycombe for five years. Yeah, my son's a regular down at the skate park here. He started scooting, he's a scooter boy, uh, about five years ago. Yeah, it's just, it's just very, very pleasant, in my opinion. 
got bushland across the street, nice big park. My honor they always maintain everything well. Time. What else do you want? Well, we first came over from England as a 10 pound pom. We arrived in Dianella and from there we came across to High Wycombe when I was about 10. It's still got that great community feel to it. I don't think that will ever go, and that's one of the great things about High Wycombe. My first memory was actually the Meckering earthquake. We moved in just a few weeks before that, and I remember running out onto our driveway um, because the house was wobbling. So that was sort of my earliest mm. memory of High Wycombe. Um, High Wycombe's actually a great community. And then when somebody does say, oh, you know, somebody did something really nice down at the shops, and you think, well, Things like that actually happen all the time. Around here, I mean, you always feel safe. I don't ever feel mm. sort of unsafe. It's not fancy. No, it's not. But it's not. home. Mm. Yeah. yeah.